Dr. Michael Banbury, physician, Medical Associates Hospital and Medical Center. Oh, un undoubtedly, I think we should do that. I think we have enough food types here to eat um, everything that is, that, is, that is produced in Jamaica. I don't think we need to import anything really. I think we need to focus on growing our own stuff and feeding ourselves. I don't think it's ever too late. And I don't think it's too early, ever too early either. I think you should start as soon as possible. Um, stay away from fast foods, stay away from excess alcohol intake, and get sufficient rest. I think these are very, very important, along with a regular exercise program. Uh, pork is uh, very, very, to me that has had a lot of bad press really. It has had a bad press from, the day, from biblical days where the Bible um, has really insinuated that pork is in fact an unclean meat. And in fact, all, all meat with the cloven hoofs, uh, is, um, the cloven hoof is un unclean. But pork in itself is not like, it's like any other meat really. If you're a meat eater, I don't think it's harmful to eat pork. The fat I think you should stay away from, so like for example, pork tenderloins and stuff like that. Or if you're going to eat pork in general, if it's fatty, try and trim the fat from it. I think it's healthy, like it. it's a good source of protein, excellent source of pork, and it's properly cooked. Um, I, would, I, wouldn't I wouldn't have any problem in recommending it really. Let's go back to when I was a medical student, when I started to have an interest in medicine. Um, in those days, heart attacks, or what we call myocardial infarctions, were not very commonly seen, and they were seen in usually people of more mature age. Um, today, we're seeing heart attacks much more frequently, and also affecting people of young, younger ages, both men and women. I think this is largely um, driven by, the, by smoking, on the one hand. Also, there has been an epidemic of, not really an epidemic, but there has been an increase in the prevalence of obesity. That, that has been driven, been driven really by fast food chains, people getting interested in fast foods, also by, um, I would think, a lack of physical exercise. So that has really led to an increase in the prevalence of type 2 diabetes and also hypertension. And, and, and so, and following on from that, um, heart attacks. Well, if, I, um, if I'm on a run and need to grab something quickly, I would use um, nuts, I like nuts, um, um, particularly almonds. I also like grapes as well, so I would use that to fill the gap. If you smoke, you should stop smoking. Smoking is very, very bad um, on your body in general. Also, um, a regular exercise program is very important. And when I say regular exercise program, if you are free of chronic disease and you're not obese, I would think three times a week for a minimum of 30 minutes a day, for three times a week, would be sufficient. But if you have um, type 2 diabetes or if you're obese or overweight, <coughs> I think you should exercise daily, at least 30 minutes a day. My favorite pork dish is actually corn pork, done in any way, either, either fried or um, cooked down with seasoning and stuff like that. I really like corn pork.